What's good? What's good, everyone? Welcome back to the show recap with Mo, where we're getting ready to get into a little bit of discussion of Tyler Perry's sisters that's getting ready to re-air on October the 18th, right? So anyhow, let's go ahead and get into this thing. But before we get into it, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss shit and if that's going down. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So Zach, Zachary, whatever you want to call him, your baby daddy, whatever y'all call him, we talking about him, all right? So Zach seems to be in a little bit of trouble um, with this scene right here. We see Heather, we see the child, we see Zach, and we see the police. As we all know, Zach doesn't need any damn problems. He already has enough problems already with the money situation. They looking into that. Then he got this baby mama drama. Then he potentially got another situation over here with Karen, which is already a whole different situation. Then he got a fiance is that, that, that is dealing with her situation with Karen. So there's already a whole lot of stuff going on with Zach, through Zach, around Zach, in between Zach. And we don't... <laughs> <laughs> we don't need any more of that, right? So this situation right here is alarming to me, but I, I, I honestly don't think it's a big situation. But knowing Tyler, it could possibly become a big situation. And, and the reason why I say that is this. It, it would seem to me that if my fiance works in a law firm, I know that my child is not being treated fairly where he's currently residing then I will go through the proper legal system to get that situation resolved and get my son over here with me. That that would just seem like the right way to do it, right? Well, of course, with Zachary, I'm not sure how he handled the situation, but going over there to beat old boy's ass, the cheeseburger guy, and, and all of a sudden you got your son sitting on the couch. I'm just assuming that you went over there, something that come out right, and you laid them hands on the old boy, and next thing you know, you sitting over here with your son, and now the police done showed up. Heather want her child back. And the crazy thing about it, from the previous episodes, all she wanted was the money. You can tell that's all she wanted. And her boyfriend or whomever he is that's sitting up in the crib with her not working, which is already, I mean, sh listen, I'm so tired of these lame ass dudes on these shows, man. Like, I, I know it's like this in real life, at least for some dudes, right? Not all dudes. There are actually some good men out here that go to work every day to bring home money for themselves as well as for their families. But, you know, me just seeing this this dude up here with this this t-shirt on getting his ass whipped i didn't feel no type of way about it because there's no telling what he was doing to this child who already has a a, a hearing issue and the sad part about it his mother knew nothing about it because she wasn't in tune with her son so I understand, I can understand how Zach is feeling as a father and wants to take his son out of that context. But bro, you got to go through the legal channels to get this resolved and do it in the right, in the right manner. And it would seem to me that if that's the case, then I would definitely go to my fiance, tell her to get everything drawn up. Like, because obviously that's what y'all were doing. Y'all were trying to figure this out. You had the attorney that was in there flirting with your, your soon to be wife. And I don't know if he was doing all he needed to do or whatnot, but I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not sure if that's the case. I'm just hoping for the best. But from what it looks like with the police being here, Heather being here, actually having her hands on the child and in her arms at this time, and Zach looking like he's pleading his case. And I'm like, damn, man, like, is this going to be another time that that Zach ends up behind bars because he did some some dumb shit? Or is this going to be a situation where it backfires on Heather? Like, do they have enough adequate proof to to show the police that this child is being abused or neglected. And then when you go back to another scene on the trailer, it looks like Zach and Fatima have this puzzled look on their face and Zach is trying to check out his son or at least try to see if he can hear him or not. Something is going on there, so I'm not for sure, but it looks like potentially something could have been done to his son as well. And maybe that's why he was beating old boy's ass over at the apartment or whatnot. So I'm just saying, maybe he, I mean, I'm not going to say he didn't deserve it, 
but I mean, he deserved it. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and lean in where Zach was. If, if Zach thought that he deserved that ass whipping that he got out there on that floor, well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and side with Zach because, you know, Zach, Zach did what he thought was best. And I'm going to go ahead and, and <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just, and I'm going to side with him. So anyhow, those are my thoughts, man. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Also, please like and subscribe to this channel so y'all don't miss shits and if it's going down right here, all right? So until next time, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.